hidden in us, yeah? As long as you don't get bothered, kicked or robbed or uh, wet in the rain or sent away by police or hand having or owners or whoever, everything is fine. We are here on the Stadthaus. <laughs> I'm Jan. I'm uh, the whole year in the Netherlands and the last three, uh, three months I'm staying homeless in Rotterdam, waiting to get my dog back. Jan is een van de vele daklozen in Rotterdam. Ik kon me niet helemaal een beeld voorstellen bij hoe het is om op straat te leven. Daarom nodigde Jan me uit om een middag en een nacht mee te gaan de straat op. Are you ready? So I want to take you to a normal day in my life as a homeless person in Rotterdam. Uh, I mean, for me it's normal, for you it could be quite an adventure. I hope you have good boots, because we're going to walk a lot. Een van de weinige plekken die gratis warmte biedt is de Pauluskerk. Ik heb met Jan om vier uur middags afgesproken, net nadat de kerk dicht gaat en hij weer de straat afvoert. If you have afvoert. nothing left in your life, here you can come. And at least you can shower. You can wash your clothes and you get some food and a little bit shelter in the day. The biggest part of the homeless people, what I know, they are here in Paulus Kirk. So I would say like 80 here and maybe the same number in, in Ontmutting. So we are 160. Well, you don't know how many people are homeless but sleeping with friends in the apartment or don't want to ask for help or don't have the time because they are drug addict or go prostitution somewhere in the, in the night, you know? It's very invisible. There are many people are drinking now. So there are some um, toezicht? Just people from Paulus what, what, what is What is like uh, handhaving usually doing? Uh, if, you drink, if you drink an open beer, they're gonna force you to throw it away. And if they really don't like you, they're gonna give you a ticket. And obviously, if you if you are homeless and you have to drink inside, where? Yeah. So uh, after time, after time, you get more tickets and more tickets, and the court is using it because obviously you cannot pay it with what, how, and they use these tickets to give you the the, the paper for deportation. Yeah. So you are not allowed in the Netherlands because you don't pay the tickets. But also they don't help you to get a job to pay actually the tickets. Jan heeft net als vele andere daklozen een eigen verhaal. Wel voelt hij net als vele andere daklozen zich niet erg gesteund door de overheid of de gemeente. This is, you are not from here, you are homeless, you are nothing. <laughs> yeah? And there is no help. Me, I don't get help. I'm European, I'm German, I'm from your neighboring country. I uh, came here to the Netherlands in February. I wanted to find a job on farms. My profession is making cheese and taking care about cows or pigs and <laughs> everything animals on farms. So I figured I go to Netherlands. I couldn't find a job. I found a job in Luxembourg. I bought a ticket. I want to go with my uh, working dog, German Shepherd, Mecheler Serda Mix. I went um, to the central station, waited. There was a small incident, my dog bite someone and yeah, he got confiscated one hour before my, my train left and now he is, I don't know where and I refuse to leave the, this city without my dog and I want to work yeah, with dog, without dog, doesn't matter. Let me say that in the camera, Rotterdam, there's two options, I get my dog back or I stay here and die trying to get him back. Well, I need to find some place where I can charge my phone. Yeah. Uh, now I don't have an idea where. Maybe, oh yeah, I, yes, I have an idea. Okay. Wanneer de avond begint te vallen, wil Jan graag zijn telefoon opladen. En de bibliotheek lijkt een geschikte plek. The is closed, but the, the, the thing, is it Starbucks? Yeah. Helaas is bij aankomst yeah. de bibliotheek dicht. 
en zijn we genoodzaakt om naar Starbucks te gaan. Dat is het moment dat Starbucks is meer sociaal is dan, <laughs> dan de rest van de officiële buildings. We zijn nu in Starbucks. Now. And then normally you don't have to order coffee or you do. Or... But I think you don't need to order something. If maybe I order later. I tell you, right now on Sunday and Saturday they are the better social workers. So. Na het opladen van de telefoon weet Jan nog een plek waar eventueel nog wat avondeten te krijgen is. Een kiprestaurant dichtbij het Centraal Station, waar ze overblijfselen vaak weggeven aan daklozen. Dit is de beste chicken van Rotterdam. Ik bedoel, mean, je zag het vanavond. Uh, At 4 o'clock, de Paulus Kruis closed. At 3 o'clock, de sisters is the place with uh, Catholic sisters, nuns. They provide Sunday very good food, but uh, 3 o'clock. And then after that, every social place is it's closed. And usually they give like the the things uh, the leftovers. leftovers, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some days you get a lot. Some days they don't have leftovers. It's a lottery. Stop. Wait, what give you? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, oh my God. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There goes the chicken. My name is Adam. There goes the chicken. There goes the chicken. No more chicken for us. Zonder dat ik het door heb, was alle kip al vergeven. Dit betekent dit keer geen avondeten. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But did I spoil it because of the camera now? Yeah, I was, I was not paying attention to. Yeah. Daarna besluiten we maar zo stil aan richting onze slaapplek te gaan. Dit is de plek waar we min of meer gaan slapen. This is the sleeping area. Ja, yeah, I, I can show you. Here. Oh, yeah. This car doesn't move. And it's protected from wind more or less. There is a roof. Yeah, yeah. There's light. There is no people oh. around. So, quite a good yeah. place. Ik had Jan beloofd dat ik ook zou overnachten. Dus ik heb mijn slaapzak meegenomen en maak me klaar voor een lange nacht. In de ochtend worden we wakker door vertrekkende auto's. Ja, in de morgen. Ik werd wakker door de owner van de car. De vrouw was heel vriendelijk. Daarna gaat Jan naar de Pauluskerk waar hij een kop koffie kan krijgen of een kop thee. Zo. So. Here we go again. Here we go again. This is day and night. Paulus kick in the day, night somewhere else. This is pretty much the life of many people here. Wat ik leerde van deze dag meelopen met Jan is dat voor veel daklozen het leven gaat over lopen en wachten van de ene naar de andere plek en weer terug. The life of homeless people is about walking and waiting. Waiting, walking, waiting, walking all day long from A to B. But you need to wait at B because of the time when they open. Then they close. Then you walk. Then you go. Then you wait. <laughs> then you turn. And tomorrow you do the same. <laughs> Do you want to sit down real quick? 